Hello everyone, welcome to Accounting 210. In this video, we talk about Chapter 11, the more accounting lab assignment. Uh, chapter 11, basically, we talk about how do we break down the um, flexible budget variance to two parts, uh, either price variance or the uh, efficiency variance. Uh, we said that for direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead, you can do that. And then for fixed manufacturing overhead, Basically, you have actual, you have budgeted, and then you have standard. Uh, so totally, you have four items, and then each item, you have two variants. You will have a variance calculation in chapter 11, and then you also uh, need to know how do you interpret, especially the direct material and direct la labor, and then fixed manufacturing overhead, the volume of variance. So I think you should know these five variance interpretation and the eight variance calculation. Okay, now let's look at this question. This question is not easy, so let's work on this one together. Uh, so first we are talking about the standard cost of one unit. Uh, I didn't mention this too much in the um, lecture, but general idea is standard cost is kind of like a menu you say uh, based on Everything is fits perfect. You have the standard quantity, then you have the standard price for each uh, quantity, you know, and then you get the standard cost for each unit. Um, so if you want to look at the handout, it's on the first page, but let's look at the number. Uh, since we look at the standard cost, we focus on the standard price and the volume. Um, direct material, uh, we said for each unit, uh, you need 25 yards and each yard is $18. So let's do the number together. Let's do the number together. Okay, put a calculator here. You need a 25 yard, each yard is $18. So uh, you need a 450 uh, for the direct material for one unit. Direct labor is a four hour and then each hour is a sixteen dollar. So four hour and then each hour is a sixteen dollar. Hold on. Four hour times sixteen gives me sixty-four. Um variable manufacturing overhead, we allocate the manufacturing overhead based on direct labor hours. Uh, we need a four hour and then each hour is a four dollar so we allocate the 16 flex fixed budget fixed manufacturing overhead uh, we need a four hours remember here right direct labor hours we need a four hours and then each hour we allocate the seven dollars so totally we allocate the 28 dollar um, that gives us total will be 450 plus 64 plus 16 plus 28 gives me 558. 558 total as our standard cost per unit. Look at the second one. The second one asks about doing the variance, right? So we first base to our variance of the direct material. So we have the direct material uh, price variance, direct material price variance. Uh, personally, I like my way, you know, kind of actual, actual, actual standard, standard, standard. Um, but for the my account lab, you have to follow their format. I don't like that, but we have no other choice. Uh, it is instead of actual, actual, actual standard. So it take actual outside. So it uses the actual. Quantity times the standard price minus a uh, time the actual price minus standard price. And this question is a little bit harder um, because you actually purchased this yard, but you only used this yard. So your purchase is different from the yard you used. Um, make sure I didn't talk this in the video in the exam. I'm not going to give you this tricky one. I just will give you the one we talk about very basic. Uh, your usage is the same as the purchased. Um, quant quantity, but in this specific one, when we do price variance, when do we our price variance is based on the units purchased because the price is related with the purchase. Um, for the quantity variance, uh, we use the units used because that's kind of your efficiency, how efficient you use the material. Uh, just to make sure you know that. Um, so direct the direct material price variance is the actual quantity purchased 
actual quantitative purchase times the actual price minus standard price. Actual price minus standard price. Standard price. Uh, actual quantity purchased is we purchased 46, 800 yard. Actual price, actual price we need to calculate. So totally we spend eight, remember it's here, 828360. Uh, we divided by total units, is, total quantity is total yard is 46,800. So the price um, per yard is 17.7. Uh, 17.7 our standard the price is 18 so we actually got a deal right we got a, we got a deal uh, so we should have a favorable price variance sorry it's a favorable price variance and the price the number is 17 point uh, hold on hold on hold on 18 minus 17.7 and then we time 46 800 46 800 we got the number 14040 14040 okay so that's the uh, that's the price variance um quantity variance direct material quantity variance is the standard price standard price time the actual quantity used actual quantity used minus standard quantity allowed, right? Standard quantity, standard quantity allowed. Uh, standard price we said is $18 per yard. Actual quantity we used is 44,000. Standard quantity allowed is, standard quantity allowed is, let's see, okay. Okay, a uh, standard quantity allowed is for one unit, for one unit, we use 25 yard. We actually made 1800 units. So the standard quantity will be for one unit is we use 25 yard. For one unit is we use 25 yard. And then how many units we made? 1800 so standard is 45,000 yard 45,000 yard uh, but actually we only use the 44,000 so we have a favorable we have a favorable and then the difference will be for minus okay so I just do this 45,000 minus 44,000 and then we time 18 so 18,000, 18,000 favorable is direct material quantity variance. Next one, uh, we talk about labor, right? We talk about labor, direct labor rate variance. Uh, labor is actual hour, actual hour time, actual rate minus standard rate, actual rate minus standard rate. Uh, actual hour is, look at the actual, uh, actual hour, 7,050 hours, right? 7,050 hours. And then we need to get the rate, we need to calculate, we need to calculate. Um, totally spend that. Everybody knows what I'm doing. So 115,620 divided by 7050. Um, actual rate is 16.4 and then standard rate is 16 so we pay higher price uh, we have an unfavorable we have an unfavorable so what's the number 16.4 minus 16 and then we time 70 50 gives me 28 20 28 20 unfavorable rate variance uh, for the efficiency variance it will be standard rate standard rate from actual hour actual hour minus standard hour allowed standard hour allowed so let's get standard rate we said is 16 dollar per hour and the actual hour uh, we already did the calculation is 70 50, uh, 
7050. You said, how did you get the number? It's 7050 here, 7050. And then um, standard hour allowed, standard hour allowed. Um, for each unit, for each unit is we use four hour. And then for each unit is we use four hour. And then how many units we produced? 1800, right? So our standard allowed is 7,200, but we actually use the less hour, so we have higher efficiency, we have a favorable, and then uh, we do the calculation, 7,200 minus 7,050, and then we times 16, gives me 2,400, gives me 2,400. Next one, next one. Uh, then we do the variable manufacturing overhead. Variable manufacturing, the rate variance, uh, the rate variance will be actual hours, actual hours time, the actual rate minus the standard rate, standard rate. Actual hour we calculated, right? We calculated. It's, the, it's very similar with our um, direct labor. So actual hour is 7050. 7050, 7050, 7050. Actual rate, actual rate. Variable manufacturing overhead. Uh, actual, actual variable manufacturing overhead is total is this. So total is 3315 over 7050 hours. 7, 50 hours. So the actual rate is 4.3, but the standard said that we allocate based on $4. So your actual is more, it will be unfavorable. And then the number will be 4.3 minus 4. And then we time 7050. So that gives me 2115. 2115. Uh, next one uh, for the variable manufacturing overhead the efficiency is the standard rate, standard rate time actual hour, actual hour minus standard hour allowed. Uh, standard rate is $4 per direct labor hour. Actual hour we calculated, we said actual hour is 70.50, 70. 50, 70 50 and a standard hour allowed. Um, standard hour allowed. We said uh, we said uh, for one unit, for one unit, for one unit, for one unit, um, we use four hours, right? For one unit, we use four hours, and then totally we produced 18. 100 units, 1800 units, and then each one we need four hours. We each one we need four hours. So standard hour allowed is 7200. Uh, you actually use the less hour than the standard, so we have a favorable. The difference will be 7200 minus 7050, and then we time. We time the rate is four dollar six hundred. We time the rate is six hundred. Uh, next one, uh, oh, fixed manufacturing overhead. Fixed manufacturing overhead is very different. Uh, instead of doing A A A S S S, we just have actual budget and standard. So we have an actual minus budget. We have actual and then minus budget. Our actual fixed is fifty thousand two hundred fifty two two hundred. Minus the budgeted is 48,200, 48,200. So our actual is more, we have an unfavorable, right? Our actual is more, we have an unfavorable. So the number is 52,200 minus 48,200, we get 4,000, we get 4,000. And next one, uh, the volume variance is the budget, budgeted fixed minus 
standard standard fix allowed. Budgeted is 48200 48 to 200 and standard we said um, for one unit for one unit uh, we need four hours and then each hour is seven dollar so for budget it is a four hour time seven dollar and actually we produced 1800 we produced 1800 so total should be 5400 50400 uh, your budget is less than the fixed manufacturing overhead so you have the favorable volume and the difference is four eight two hundred we got the number is two thousand two hundred okay so now let's look at the next so you get all the numbers i one more time personally i don't like this question the, the format but you know i put it this this i chose this question so um just do your best, watch the video, use the notes, do your best. Um, direct the material price, and then we have this, we have this favorable, right? We said direct material price, we got a favorable. Remember we got favorable, and then we got the quantity is also favorable. So let's see, how do we, we interpret? Direct material price is a favorable, so the actual price paid is less. The actual price paid is less. Uh, possible reason is we have other suppliers. Quantity is a favorable. We used uh, uh, less material. We used less material. And then possible reason is purchase a higher quantity material. Uh, direct labor, we said direct labor. We said um, the rate is unfavorable. Efficiency is favorable, okay? So the rate is unfavorable. Actual labor rate is more. Uh, possible reason is higher the more qualified, higher the more qualified employee. Efficiency is favorable. So we take less. We take less labor hour. Uh, maybe because we improve the efficiency. Improve the efficiency. Um, Variable manufacturing overhead, variable manufacturing overhead. Uh, rate is unfavorable, efficiency is favorable, rate is favorable. So that means rate, hold on, hold on. We said the rate is, rate is unfavorable, efficiency is favorable. So rate is unfavorable, that means uh, we spend more. And then efficiency is favorable. We don't need this, right? Sorry, we don't need this. Sorry. Uh, efficiency is took less hour, took less labor hour, okay? Uh, possible explanation. Uh, possible explanation, cost saving. We, we spend more cost saving. Decrease efficiency, higher or less, spend more money, increase in the cost, and then what else? Increase in cost, cost saving, decrease the efficiency, higher or less. The rate is unfavorable. Variable manufacturing overhead, the rate is unfavorable. Hmm. So, higher, more qualified employee. Let me put this one. Uh, cost of saving, decrease efficiency. It has nothing to do with the efficiency increased. Cost of saving, improve efficiency. Let me just put it here. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Uh, efficiency is favorable because we improved the efficiency and then we also decrease efficiency, cost saving, cost saving in any cost, decrease efficiency, increase saving, 
higher, less, higher, more holy frequency. I have no idea, honestly. I just put it here. A fixed overhead budget. Uh, so that means um, more words we have unfavorable. Uh, so more words stand on fixed overhead than the standard. And then volume is volume. We have a favorable. That means we produce the more volume. Okay, so we produce the more volume. Um, possible reason uh, fixed overhead budget is we increase in the cost, increased in the cost because we have unfavorable cost saving, decrease efficiency. I have no idea, but I put it there. <laughs> Uh, more units were produced, and then maybe because we hired the more qualified employee. Again, to see the higher increase improve efficiency. Uh, hold on, maybe we improve the efficiency. Okay, I just put it here. So correct me if I'm wrong. I I know some of them is wrong. So if I got it wrong, you know, uh, I just uh, give you points. Uh, we said which can be in, re, uh, related. We said the favorable direct labor efficiency, favorable direct labor efficiency is related with the unfavorable direct uh, direct direct labor rates uh, because we hire the more we hire the more qualified and then we save the hour. We improve the labor efficiency. We improve the labor efficiency. Okay, so I know, I think I put something wrong here, but uh, oh well, I did my best. So let's check the answer. Wish, wish me good luck, okay, wish me good luck. The 96%, 95%. So let's see which part I got wrong. Do they tell me which part I got wrong? Let's see, check answer, okay. How can I know, submit a quiz? Okay, so uh, should I see review test? I got 20, not even 24, 23, let's see. I got all the numbers. I got all the, no, I missed one number here. Budget, budget is a fixed overhead. What did I put? Oh, I forgot to put this one, sorry. I forgot to put this one. Sorry, if you saw my video, I know it's budgeted. It's actual budget and the standard. So that's my fault. I didn't put this one. Um, I put something wrong here, put something wrong in the interpretation. As I say, if I don't know, you don't need to know. Um, I just put the points for you directly. I will email you. So your job is get the numbers and then uh, make sure how do you interpret the direct material, direct labor, and then uh, fix the manufacturing overhead for the volume variance. Okay, thank you. Um, it's a hard question. I would say it's a bad question. <laughs> we will figure it out together. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.